Hey guys, what's up? It's Retro Mikey 78 here, and today we have a humongous pickup video. This is basically everything I bought the month of December and January. Um, I had shot this pickup video and did not like it. Um, I was about halfway through the video, or probably about half of this stuff was filmed, and I noticed that. When I went to edit it, the video was um, mainly over here and I was on the edge of the screen. So, my mistake. Uh, so, there's a few things I did unbox when I did the first one. So, they will not be um, sealed. They'll just kind of show off things. But, this is a huge thing. I have items on the floor. I have items over here to the side of me. It, it's a lot. Um, we're going to try to get through this as quick as we can. So, here we go. You guys know by now, um, I love collecting Mario plushies and plushies just to set around the room. April um, somehow played a claw game on her phone and won for free a blue Yoshi. She really loves Yoshi, so blue Yoshi. Same time, she got me my only Pokemon I do love, Squirtle, for free. Then... Um, I'd been complaining I wanted a red Yoshi and we'd been looking for one cheap. Ended up just finally just getting it off uh, Amazon. I think I paid 13, 14 bucks. But I always want them new and clean. I don't want plushies around the room that are dirty. Then I um, think we bought this at Target. Target or B-Stock? I don't remember. We bought, oh, Target. we bought this and April bought her a um, baby, baby peach. She loves peach. But we have, I've had this stuff just sitting around the room for so long. We just haven't put nothing up. Um, we went to Five Below. And I saw these two more Mario figures for five bucks. Then we got on the back and we saw there was a few more. So we ordered these. Uh, Fivebelow.com. Yep. Um, got a Luigi, got a blue Yoshi, and a different Mario that we didn't have before. So now I think I've got about, there's five more on the ground. i got ten of these, and I have nowhere to put them right now. My game room is a, a scene at the scene. Yeah, total disaster. Well, this is probably have to go up until we get a house. Um... Yeah, this one. Um, we picked up this Isabel at the Five Below. Um, I unboxed it when I did the other video, but you know, we had the Smash Brothers, but we did not have the Animal Crossing one and whatever outfit it was. So we picked that up. Um, I had it showed off before, but it is what it is with those. Um, just more Amiibos. Five bucks for an Amiibo. We're like, sure. And yes, I got a stack of games here, but I like saving the games till near the end. Um, April picked this up um, real cheap on Wish. Um, not bad. I mean, I think it was like 10 bucks. I mean, can't really beat that with shipping only 10 bucks. It took probably three months to get here, but. What about the Amiibos we got from Target? Breath of the wild. I showed those off a long time ago. Just make sure. So, yep. Yeah, got that from yeah, Wish. That took a long time to get here. But Wish is, you know. Now we go to Hot Wheels stuff. Um, there's been a lot, at least. Uh, we were sitting around the house, and April goes, Hey, do, do you know there's a baby Mario, Mario Kart Hot Wheels? And I was like, No. So I got on there and looked at the back of it and noticed that there was more than just Baby Mario been released. And then I got on the back of another one and noticed there was some more. And I, it, it just spiraled out of control. I'm like, why do I say anything? Huh? I said, I'm like, why do I say anything? All right, well, to begin off, we um, I found this when we were in Indiana and April ordered it offline for me, which... You get this off eBay, it's almost a hundred dollars now. But we got it from Target.com. We paid um, the retail price for it. And at the time, I thought, oh, that is an exclusive Yoshi. At the time, I thought these were only exclusive that you could only get this in these. 
And like I said, I got this, ordered this at Christmas time. So this has been sitting around for a while. Yeah, for the green one, it yeah. has the rainbow shoot. And the, lighter. and the Mario has the rainbow one on that one. They just, we just found these two at a Target this weekend. And these are so cool. Um, actually get them like this where you can put them on the wall easy. Toad is not in this pack. Um, but the thing I noticed on the back, if you want to put it on a track, it says you can detach the parasol. So I looked at it and it just clicks in and out. Um, you can, I'll take a picture you guys can see, but it just clicks in and out of the car. These are kind of neat. Showing the diversity of them, but well, we're gonna find the Bowser. There's a Bowser and a green Yoshi on the back. We still gotta find, and I just now noticed because I hadn't looked that this is the red Yoshi. So there will probably be more of those coming out. Yay. Yeah, we we've got a huge section of our wall dedicated to this. Yeah. These are the six new ones that we found. <coughs> we found Peach with a P wing. And I ended up ordering all these off eBay, and then we went to Target a week later, and they, and they started getting them here. So I was like, got Shy Guy in the B Dasher. And a lot of these we're getting because they have different um, cars. Mm -hmm. Mario in the P-Wing car. We didn't have that one. Um... Yoshi, he is in a Mach 8. The only one that was in the Mach 8 before, I think, was um, the Ouija. And then we have Baby, baby. Mario in the P-Dasher. I think Baby Peach. Now, if I'm looking right, we still have one that's not came off eBay. And we need to look into that because th we ordered these a while back. Yeah. We got five, and I ordered six. I don't know. I've not been keeping track. So April's don't have to look that up. Yeah, well, I don't know. Hand me that piece of paper over there real quick. Is there a Luigi in there? No, but there is a Luigi in the back of this. In the circuit special. circuit special. That's the one you need to look up. Yep. All right. So we just figured that out. We need the Luigi with the circuit special. April's gonna look on eBay and see what happened to that. All right. Well, the, the pile is diminishing, folks. So we are getting through this. Yeah, I know. There's stuff on the floor. There's stuff over here. There's stuff back on the shelf. All right. Also, while we were looking for the Mario Kart stuff, I found some new turtle cars and could not pass these up. Then while I found turtle cars, I found more Mario stuff. So I found all this turtle stuff. Um, turtle Monster Trucks. And these are really, really cool. I had to order... No, I didn't. I, we found them all at a store. But I was going to try to buy more Michelangelo because he's going for about 20 bucks. You have Leonardo, Donatello, Crane, Michelangelo, and Leonardo, uh, Michelangelo and Raphael. Um, that's the entire set of five. So, yeah, these are really, really cool looking. It said it was a pre-order. It said it'd be here by February 17th. Huh? So there you go. She just looked it up. The Luigi was a pre-order. Didn't even know I ordered a pre-order. So I've already got a spot on the wall selected for it. <laughs> All right. So there's those monster trucks. We also ordered, or no, I bought this at the store. It's a Leonardo Raphael dual set. This will probably go up there with all my turtle cars and everything. You guys will see sometime all back behind the TV. Yeah, sometimes. Then um, this is what I saw, and I thought these were really cool. A monster truck Hot Wheels Mario set. They have Luigi. We had Mario. We also had Bowser. And then we have Yoshi. And then while we're at it, April found this one. Um, 
This is actually, it says Super Mario Donkey Kong on it. I think this is actually like a monster truck that they actually race with. These are just like advertisement pieces. They don't use these as real trucks. I'm not totally sure. So we went ahead and bought the Donkey Kong. It was real cheap. All right, guys, we are back. I've got a little bit more room on the table. So let's go through this. Um, also, while we were at Target one day, we actually haven't even had time to play it, but we bought the Super Mario Celebration Edition um, Monopoly. This was, uh, what was this? 20% uh, off that day we bought it, right? Yeah. So it's kind of neat. Like I said, we, we haven't really looked at it much. Um, haven't had time. But um, this was a Goodwill find. Um, April wanted this because none of the other Wii boards I've been buying and trying worked. But this thing is in mint condition. It was complete. It was from the Goodwill. So she was excited to get this. And I still haven't tested it. Oh. Uh, all right. Now to the games, systems, and some presents that I got. Oh, wait. I said system. All right. Now, I'm going to have to explain all this as I go through it. Because I do not remember. I have to think about where everything came from. <laughs> eh, sorry about that, guys. It, it's Like I said, this was December and January's pickups. And I kind of forgot where everything was. I forgot so much that I was about ready to buy this game. <laughs> Again. Um, we were at Target, and April really loved the first one of these, um, Fitness Boxing 2, so it was what she wanted. She loved the first Fitness Boxing game. So here it is. It's still sealed. She hasn't played it yet. And I'd already forgotten that I had even bought this. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I was listening to Spawnway today talk about how much this game had sold. And how they were saying that he thought it would drop in price when the Zelda thing goes. I, like, I might buy that when it drops out in price. I actually said that this morning. So I forgot that I even bought it. I wasn't listening to you. Um, don't want to show that off yet. I ordered this off eBay. It's the Resident Evil Triple Pack um, for the Switch. I will be leaving this sealed so I make sure that the code does not get used. It's just part of my Resident Evil collection. Um, do not have, I did not have this to switch, but I have these for other consoles. So therefore, there's really no reason to open it. Um, try to go through these in somewhat of order. Yeah, I'll do this so I get this off of my lap. All right, when we were in Indiana, um, I picked up Five Nights of Freddy's Help Wanted for the PlayStation 4, and I pretty much bought it. I've heard Five Nights of Freddy's is a good game, um, but I wanted to try it with the VR. Still have not had a chance to play it. Um, I did pay 30 bucks for it. But also why I was there, and Bones about, Z Bones 06 about shit his pants when he saw this. I picked up the PlayStation AIM controller had 30 on it the guy gave it to me for 20 gave me ten dollars off the whole order so you could say i got this five dollars off that five dollars off that whatever it was but i got ten dollars off um these still go for a pretty penny so i was um super excited just to find it we had actually went to a disc replay before the exchange and they wanted almost 50 bucks for it so i was excited to, to find it i have yet to um try it because, like I said in the one video, we got I got called back early to work. Then, um, before we left for Indiana, I'd started playing the um, remake of the Tomb Raider series. I really enjoyed it. When we were over there, I found the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the Steelbook Edition, for $7.99 at Disc Replay. The funniest part of this is, is another Disc Replay had this for $25 and they didn't even have the sleeve. It was just the steel book and it was dented as hell. 
So what I'm going to do is take my copy of Shadow of the Tomb Raider and it's going to be put on eBay soon. So you guys, anybody looking for it, I'll probably be putting it on there. Don't know what price I'll be putting it for. So it's going to be going. Um, half price. I'm trying to sort these because they're not sorted. All right. Like I told you guys, I shot this video once, started to put stuff up, and then had to scrap the video. So this is a remake. And an improv tube one, because I'm getting ready to go to work here soon. Um, I got Red Faction Armageddon, complete for $2 at a half price books. Also picked up Dante's Inferno Strategy Guide, um, 10 bucks. Picked up Resident Evil Revelations 2. I did not have this on the PS3. Um, for $11.99. Thought that was a great price. Um, on the way home, after we got called home, I was whining and boohooing in the car. April was sick and tired of hearing me. I had a 15% off coupon that Disc Replay had given me when we first went back. When we first went, I think, uh, when I bought this or bought that Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I don't remember what, but they gave me a 15% off coupon. And I could use it in any disc replay around Indiana. Um, I had passed up on a copy of Diablo for 75 bucks. And I was like, I could have used that. Could have got it for about 65, you know, 68 with tax. And I told her, I said, let's stop at the one in Terre Haute. I know we're on a rush because I got called back to work early. And I, I, we left Indiana. And I drove home, changed clothes, and went to work. So we got it. We got a little bit of time. So we stopped and... Walk into this place, and at the Terre Haute one is Diablo. Um, this is a near mint condition. Um, the case is cracked on the back, but I can replace the case. Um, Diablo, it was not 75. I used my 15% off with tax. I think I got it for 68 bucks. So one um, great steal there. I um, got it, I think, for a great price. So. I now have Diablo 1, 2, and 3. Alright. Um, we came back home. I think that first weekend I looked at April and said, I didn't get to do, do much game hunting. I said, we went out. Um, she wanted to go to the mall to go do something. We went to a V-Stock. And she was checking out of one store. I said, I'm going back to V-Stock. They were busy earlier. I need to look at something. So... I go to V-Stock, and first thing I do is I decide to buy Sh Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. And it just looks fun. Looks like a game I'd like to play. And then um, I found Resident Evil Survivor. They had this marked for $30. And here was the trick to this. As you guys now see, I have two copies. The copy they were selling was a rental copy. Because this is about a $45 game. Now, that being said, I bought their rental copy because it had the complete manual. I did not have a complete manual. My manual that I came when I bought mine, I bought mine for $20, was just the front and back. So, I'm going to put this on eBay as a rental copy an old rental copy for sale plays great let you guys know out there that this will be going online soon as soon as we get a chance to put it but i've now got a nice minty fresh copy in my collection super excited always looking for a great deal on an upgrade last but not least this was a 50 percent off bundle at target um they were all in a box well one was on a clearance rack um i only had this for the ps4 but i bought resident evil 3 uh, as you see it's open i started playing it wanted to get to some achievements but i bought resident evil 3 remake on the um xbox um dragon quest builders was 9.99 brand new Bought me a copy of Shadow of the Tomb Raider for the Xbox One because I wanted one for... I, I have the first and second one on the Xbox. 
I like this series so much I want to get all three on the Xbox. I bought Metro Exodus for $9.99. Sealed. That was a good, good price. And all I owned was the deluxe version. So I went ahead and picked me up a copy of Resident Evil 2 on the Xbox One for $10. Bucks. So, not bad. Now, I have one more um, section I need to show off. And yes, I said system earlier. I think I said systems, but I only have one. A buddy of mine, um, Deontay at work, was buying and getting extra systems somehow back when they were coming out. And what I did was asked him, hey, I'll buy it at price. So I did buy the Xbox Series X. And like I, I'm going to tell you guys now, I'm not unboxing it. You can just tell nothing in it. So my it's Series X is in there. I've been playing it. That's what I just played that Resident Evil 3 on. But when I have got that off of him, he charged me just what he paid for it. I also bought Gears Tactics off of him and a new headset for the Xbox Series X. He got that one, I think, in a game GameStop deal or bundle, and he got or he got something. I don't remember all what he got, but he's been buying and selling them off where we work like crazy. Hey, more power to him. But at the same time, um, he surprised me. I really want to say thank you. Um, he gave me a Christmas present, and then he contacts me why I'm in Indiana and said that he had part two of my Christmas present. My alarm going off. It's time to get ready to go to work. Good thing I'm already partially dressed. Just got to change my shirt and shoes. Um, last two things I'm going to show you guys. Then we'll get off here and end this long video. This is what he um, gives me first. And these are really, really cool. Um, the Turtles Pop Figures. I was super, super excited to get these. Um... I told April I didn't want to go down this avenue, but now that I do, I want Casey, I want April, I want Splinter, so, yep, I'm going to be buying some Funko Pops when we go to Toy Man or somewhere probably soon. <laughs> but yeah, these are really cool. Um, thank you, Deontay, but when we came back, he said, hey, I got part two of your Christmas. I'm going, part two, What? And I've never seen these before. I'd never heard of them. They're called Q-Figs. Um, those of you that have heard of them, these are the boxes before I show you what they are. And it says on here, boxes are meant to be opened. So, I mean, that's what a box looks like. But all these are not in here. And I will state one thing. We got these. We opened them up. I went to transport them. And I dropped and broke Leonardo. So, as you guys can see, these things are awesome. We have Michelangelo on a skateboard. Donatello. Raphael and uh, Leonardo. I went and rebought because... I, I had to have all four once I had the three. Um, I was carrying them in the other room and accidentally dropped it and it broke right up the foot. I was so pissed off. But this is really cool. Like I said, thank you so much, Deontay. Um, hey, so what did you guys think of the pickup video? How did I do in the video games? Horrible. You guys liked the video. Hey, see you guys later. It's been Retro Mikey 78. I got to go to work. Bye.